Hello, what's good YouTube? Hope you guys are all doing well today and welcome to episode 75 of Staying in D1. As you guys saw in our last episode, we actually lost our very first game with this team, so it was kind of a bummer, but you know what? We're still strong in this run through Division 1. We're at 15 points. We're two wins away from winning the Division 1 title one more time. We've won it like four or five times in a row. If you guys have been following this series, uh, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I actually got Thiago Silva in one of my premium gold packs, so it's always nice to win these things, so we're going to continue you on using the same team no need to change it it's pretty strong it's probably one of the strongest teams i've ever used and our first match of this episode is a 442 full city out full city side and we actually get someone who has the same center backs as us he's using kelini and ogbona and i have the same center backs as him so i thought it would be a pretty tough match but he was a player that just was not patient, and I think a lot of people fall victim to this when they use pacey strikers. They just want to bomb over-the-top through balls because they know they have so much pace up front. But I think the key to being successful, um, even on head-to-head, -head, is being patient. You know, uh, Skilling is obviously nice to throw in some skills, especially to beat defenders one-on-one. -on -one. I like doing ball rolls and fake shots and stuff, but here, as you guys can see, Ben Offer gets a little bit of space. Unfortunately, hits off the defender, but it falls right to Samir Nazri, and we get one goal in the fourth minute eventually we did a nice mcgiddy turn with balotelli it gets cleared out right to our player as we get the ball back and again patience is key did not force anything to make an error because he does have a lot of pace up front get through balotelli again and there it is the ball roll simple and effective to get past the defender in the 19th minute and we go ahead and take a second goal to go up 2 nil. now in the 45th minute here i thought the ref was gonna call uh, the half so i'm like okay i guess he's gonna call it but he doesn't he actually does not call and he lets us play on. Find Giovinco here, making a run, give it to Balotelli, an over the top through ball back to Giovinco, back to Nazri as we put it in. But for some reason, my capture card didn't record the goal. I guess it was too sweaty for our own good because that was a very, very trampy goal. We took the we took the easy pass for the for the goal and took the three nothing lead. But eventually, he did build up his play nicely, and it sucks that he didn't play his game, you know, his play style like that throughout the whole match because he was just trying to one two passes with those front two strikers and it's not going to work especially if someone has all his defenders on um high high defensive work rate like all my defense all my defenders have a high defensive work rate but again here in the 80th minute almost Balotelli is going to make a beautiful run patience is key as I always say and we feed him through ball right to him and again in the 90th minute he's going to use his strength he's going to use his pace and we just demolish the ball pass it to you and that's going to be our fifth goal of the match and we're going to win this one convincingly just just destroyed my opponent you guys can see the match stats we go ahead and take the victory we are at 18 points three games remaining only one loss but we have six wins so our next match here is crucial if we go ahead and win it we win the division one title one more time and we get that gold pack and our next opponent has a full Brazilian side. And no matter how good or how bad Brazilian teams are, they're just so tough to beat. You guys see he's got Batu and Wellington up front, and that's just a deadly combo of pace, really. Wellington is so, four-star skills, over 90 pace, decent strength. So he's a very good striker, but we end up, again, coming up against a player who just was not patient. He was backing off me, letting me, you know, pretty much able to pass at will. And look at this work from Samir Nazri, the beast. Look at this roulette. Splits two defenders later. And we go ahead and put it in the six minutes to take the lead. What a goal by Samir Nazri. I have to watch that again. That was beautiful. Ooh, just a work of art, Samir Nazri. Good stuff, good stuff. So, again, in the 15th minute, we're going to go ahead and build up our play one more time. Nice passing here. Find Ben Arfa on the wings. There is no one to cover him because... Because his left back has a high attacking work rate. One little moving scoop turn. Another moving scoop turn to cut inside. Smash it with his left foot. His dominant foot. And Ben Arfa gives us the second goal. 2-0 is the score. We eventually draw a foul here. And actually didn't want to stop with the ball. I was trying to scoop turn. But I guess it just took too long. Went ahead and set it up with Balotelli to take this one. He's actually got some pretty decent free kick stats. Tried to curve it around the wall. But I just put too much curve on it. And it goes right to the keeper. And this was a mistake. Because my whole team is pushed up. And he's just going to counter the crap 
crap out of me. Now, I make a horrible mistake by letting him pace. I don't know why I kept him on side. There, I pulled him back to kind of like manually offside trap him, but he didn't end up passing it. He ends up pacing down the wings, crossing it into Wellington, and he gets a goal in the 22nd minute to make it 2-1. So at that point, I was like, shoot. But as you guys can see, he's just trying over the top through balls again to pace these strikers. And, and I, the reason I showed that clip is because that was his play style. And people who play with a lot of pace up front, this is what they try to do. And it just it, sometimes it really doesn't work against me. Now, you guys saw in the previous episode, it actually did work against me. He had Remy and Aubameyang or whatever his name is um, as his strikers. But this time, we're going to go ahead and counter him. And we're going to use that LBY cross that I love so much. And Balotelli is going to header that one. And guys, this guy is going to make it easy for me as he just puts down his controller in the 60th minute. And then I just go in the corner and hold the ball until the game ends. So I'm celebrating early. That was a very easy win to go ahead and get the division one title we actually stormed through division one i apologize if it's choppy i sped it up quite a bit actually so um i again apologize for the choppiness but as i was saying we actually stormed through this run this time we like completely dominated our opponents we only had one loss we got seven wins zero draws and one loss leaving us at exactly 21 points giving us the division one title one more time and i was very impressed with this team man I'm, i was like man this is this is actually one of the strongest teams i've used but of course every time i do win the division title i like trying something new so in the next episode you guys will see a brand new team and again i'm doing my pack ritual that i always do if you guys have been watching me didn't get marquise i was like hey, i'll just open up a messy and we get someone that i have no clue who it is so not a great pack i guess it's another left winger from the french league who's very pacey and uh that's how this episode's gonna go guys so another division one title win and i'm happy with it let me know what you guys think you want to see in the next episode if you guys want to see a completely brand new league actually give me some suggestions guys what what leagues do you want to see uh, as a team what leagues do you want me to build what formations do you want me to use i'll try out anything i don't care about losing um i know there's a lot of people out there who care about the record but me i'm i'm all about having fun i'm all about making teams that are fun so if i lose with a team it's no big deal i just scrapped the idea and then go remake a team that i enjoy using as you guys can see i went ahead and opened up another pack since in division one you win eight thousand coins as well so i figured hey it's it's at least like getting two free packs so i opened up another pack didn't get much out of it did get a formation card there that i will sell and then we just discard the rest of the pack so with that said guys hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up it really helps me out and if you guys enjoy the content make sure you subscribe to the channel for daily uploads. You guys all have a good night. Take care. Peace.